Today you are going to learn a fun guessing game song that you and your children can enjoy for years. It's called I'm Thinking of an Animal. Now, Georgia's always talking about me as her husband. Well, Georgia and I, many years ago, were driving and we would take road trips with our children. We had four of them often in the car with us. And this is before any computer games or anything else. And you know, the kids would argue from time to time. I know none of your children do that, but our children would argue you know, who's sitting on this side of the car or that car, this one's looking at me, you're touching me. And so as we were driving one day, I just all of a sudden thought, what can I do to occupy my children? So I began this guessing game song called I'm thinking of an animal. Now the original song I wrote is designed for children of all ages. I've done this with three-year-olds all the way up to high school students. And the idea is to come up with four guesses each time. So it's one clue at a time for four guesses. And after four we would give up and whoever um, we couldn't guess it would tell us what the animal was. And my children would spend a lot of time looking in the encyclopedia, now they probably Google, and coming up with new animals to stump us when we would travel in our car. Later, Georgia and I added American Sign Language to it to help reinforce early learning of lots of different animals. So animals is kind of a core content. It's in the books and everything that they learn. So this is a song where they could even go and learn a sign for an animal and ultimately describe it and then sign whatever that animal is. So follow along now that I've given you some history on this song with Beth as she's going to teach you how this song works with American Sign Language. This first song is called Thinking of an Animal. This is a guessing song where clues are given one at a time about an animal. See if you can figure out which animal is being described. The signs that you need to know are, I'm thinking, see how that looks like you're thinking of or about an animal. Now, don't flap your wings here. You just want to move your hands back and forth a little bit. And I'll describe it to you. See if or try. If you can guess, looks like you're catching a fly with a hint or two or a little bit of information. It, now you want to point to that animal like it's right there has, now this looks like animal, but you don't want to move it back and forth, you just want to hold it still. Four legs, and with body parts, most of the time you can just point to them. A long tail, see how it comes out where the tail would be? Really sharp, sharp like a knife, teeth, and it likes to eat Captain Hook. Can you guess the animal? <laughs> Good, it's a crocodile. That's great. Now, let's sign the next verse. It has two legs. It has feathers, like the feather in your hat. It swims in the water. So that's a W for water. It's black and white, and that's how I describe a penguin. Great. Here's the next verse. It has two legs, two arms. It swings in the trees. See how that looks like a tree? And it likes to eat bananas. You just peel your banana. Can you guess which animal it is? <laughs> right, it's a monkey. Good. The last verse goes like this. It has six legs. It's really small. 
it's black and it likes to live on dogs. Can you guess this one? Right, it's a flea. Looks like you're trapping the flea. Now that you've learned how this guessing game song, I'm Thinking of an Animal, works, you can go and sing it and sing it and sign it with your children. One last clue I want to give you on it is that I've done this song for probably 500,000 children over the years. And in this song, when I get a child that describes it has three legs, okay, it has three legs, I never discount whatever it is they're saying, even though the chances of a three-legged animal aren't great. And it has purple spots, okay, it's three legs with a purple spots. And what else does it have? Oh, it has a long neck on it. And all the other kids will say, oh, it's a giraffe. And the child that described it with three legs and purple spots will go, yeah, it was a giraffe. <laughs> well, I just laugh and I sing, that's how I describe a three-legged purple spotted giraffe. So no matter what they pick, do it. Now, be sure, if you've not already subscribed, subscribe with us, like us, share us with your friends, and you will help support us bringing you lots of content to Add these songs to what you do with your children regularly. Thanks for joining me today at We Play Along. I'm Ken Frawley. Bye-bye, everybody. Play, play, play along.